One day, I shall come back. Yes, I shall come back. Until then, there must be no regrets, no tears, no anxieties. Just go forward in all your beliefs and prove to me that I am not mistaken in mine. Goodbye, Susan. Goodbye, my dear. Are you happy with us, Victoria? Yes, I am. At least, I would be if my father were here. Yes, I know, I know. I wonder what he would have thought if he could see me now. You miss him very much, don't you? It's only when I close my eyes, I can still see him standing there before those horrible Dalek creatures came to the house. He was a very kind man. I shall never forget him. Never. No, of course you won't. But, you know, the memory of him won't always be a sad one. I think it will. You can't understand being so ancient. Eh? I mean old. Oh. You probably can't remember your family. Oh, yes, I can when I want to. And that's the point, really. I have to really want to, to bring them back in front of my eyes. The rest of the time, they, they sleep in my mind. And I forget. And so will you. Oh, yes, you will. You'll find there's so much else to think about, to remember. Our lives are different to anybody else's. That's the exciting thing. Nobody in the universe can do what we're doing. You know, Brigadier, your methods have all the refined subtlety of a bull in a china shop. Just touch these two strands together, and the Daleks are finished. Have I that right? To destroy the Daleks, you can't doubt it. But I do. You see, some things could be better with the Daleks. Many future worlds will become allies just because of their fear of the Daleks. It, it isn't like that. But the final responsibility is mine. Or mine alone. Listen, if someone who knew the future pointed out a child to you and told you that that child would grow up totally evil, to be a ruthless dictator who would destroy millions of lives, could you then kill that child? We're talking about the Daleks, the most evil creatures ever invented. You must destroy them. You must complete your mission for the Time Lords. Do I have the right? Simply touch one wire against the other, and it's it. The Daleks cease to exist. Hundreds of millions of people, thousands of generations can live without fear, in peace, and never even know the word Dalek. Then why wait? If it was a disease or some sort of bacteria you were destroying, you wouldn't hesitate. But if I kill, wipe out a whole intelligent life form, then I become like them. I'd be no better than the Daleks. Oh, think of all the suffering there'll be if you don't do it. Doctor! Oh, doctor, I've been looking everywhere for you. Davros has agreed to our terms. He submitted? He did, but he asked only one thing, that he might be allowed to address a meeting of all the elite, scientific and military. He's going to put a case. Yes, but a vote will be taken. It's a foregone conclusion. It'll be a complete landslide against any further development of the Daleks. We won. I'm grateful to you, Garmin. More grateful than I can tell you. I see the Time Lords have emotional feelings. Of sorts. Surely a great weakness in one so powerful. Emotions have their uses. They restrict and curtail the intellect and logic of the mind. They also enhance life. When did you last have the pleasure of smelling a flower, watching a sunset, eating a well-prepared meal? These things are irrelevant. For some people, small, beautiful events is what life is all about. In all my travelings throughout the universe, I have battled against evil, against power-mad conspirators. I should have stayed here. The oldest civilization, decadent, degenerate, and rotten to the core. Power Mac conspirators, Daleks, Sontarans, Cybermen. They're still in the nursery compared to us. Ten million years of absolute power. That's what it takes to be really corrupt. Where to now, Ace? Home. Home? The TARDIS. Yes, the TARDIS. There are worlds out there where the sky is burning, where the seas are asleep, and the rivers dream. People made of smoke and cities made of song. 
Somewhere there's danger. Somewhere there's injustice. And somewhere else the tea's getting cold. Come on, Ace. We've got work to do. We restored you to life, but it's a temporary measure. You have a little under four minutes. Four minutes? As ages. What if I get bored? I need a television, a couple of books, anyone but chess. Bring me knitting. I was sure when I came in here. There is no other way. You've seen the men you will become. Those men? Extraordinary. They were you? No. They are the doctor. You're the doctor too? No. Great men are forged in fire. It is the privilege of lesser men to light the flame. the TARDIS makes that wheezing groaning that sound brings hope wherever it goes yes yes I like to think it does you think it'll last forever people and cars and concrete but it won't one day it's all gone even the sky My planet's gone. It's dead. It burned like the Earth. It's just rocks and dust. Before it's time. What happened? There was a war and we lost. A war with who? <clears throat> what about your people? I'm a Time Lord. I'm the last of the Time Lords. They're all gone. I'm the only survivor. I'm left travelling on my own because there's no one else. There's me. First things first. One, we are going to climb through this ship. B. No. Two, we are going to reach the bridge. Three, or C, we are going to save the Titanic. And coming in a very low fall, or D, or that little IV in brackets, they use them footnotes. Why? Right then, follow me. Hang on a minute. Who put you in charge? And who the hell are you anyway? I'm the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord. I'm from the planet Gallifrey in the constellation of Casterberus. I'm 903 years old, and I'm the man who's going to save your lives and all six billion people on the planet below. You got a problem with that? No. In that case. Hello, Z. Can you hear them? All these people who lived in terror of you and your judgment. All these people whose ancestors devoted themselves, sacrificed themselves to you. Can you hear them singing? Oh, you like to think you're a god. You're not a god. You're just a parasite eaten out with jealousy and envy and longing for the lives of others. You feed on them, on the memory of love and loss and birth and death and joy and sorrow. So, so, come on then, take mine. Take my memories, but I hope you've got a big appetite, because I have lived a long, long life, and I have seen a few things. I walked away from the last great time war. I marked the passing of the Time Lords. I saw the birth of the universe and I watched as time ran out. Moment by moment until nothing remained. No time, no space. 
just me. I walked in universes where the laws of physics were devised by the mind of a mad man. And I have watched universes freeze and creations burn. I have seen things you wouldn't believe. I have lost things you will never understand. And I know things, secrets that must never be told, knowledge that must never be spoken. Knowledge that will make parasite God's place. So come on, then. Take it. Take it on. Winning? Is that what you think it's about? I'm not trying to win. I'm not doing this because I want to beat someone, or because I hate someone, or because, because I want to blame someone. It's not because it's fun. God knows it's not because it's easy. It's not even because it works, because it hardly ever does. I do what I do because it's right, because it's decent. And above all, it's kind. It's just that. Just kind. If I run away today, good people will die. If I stand and fight, some of them might live. Maybe not many, maybe not for long. Hey, you know, maybe there's no point in any of this at all, but it's the best I can do. So I'm gonna do it and I will stand here doing it till it kills me. You're going to die too. Someday. What would that be if you thought about it? What would you die for? Who I am? It's where I stand, where I stand. It's where I fall. Stand with me. These people are terrified. Maybe we can help. Here's a New Year message for you to send. Earth is protected by me and my mates this year and every other. Let me take it from the top. Hello, I'm the doctor. I'm a traveler in space and time. And that thing buried down there is called a TARDIS. Time and relative dimension in space. You're gonna love this.